YouTube friends. <clears throat> I'm sitting at the computer. I've just finished editing Monday's video. It's the longest video I've ever posted. And um, so just beware, it's, this is not a tutorial. This is just Rita and I hanging out, doing some sewing. She's a complete beginner. And so she wanted to know um, lots of tips and, and techniques. So um, I've tried to edit it down, but I've also enjoyed just Rita and I hanging out. Anna turns up, John turns up, uh, Owen's there in the background somewhere, and I'm having the most lovely, lovely visit with my family. And uh, so forgive me, this is the very, very longest video I've ever posted. Uh, if you don't like it, then we'll be back to something other soon. Okay, uh, we, uh, Norma and I are going to post this now. Take care. Bye now. So, hello, YouTube friends. Many of you will know Cat Rita. And this is Girl Rita. Hello, YouTube friends. <laughs> so, today, uh, Rita's been here for a few days and it's been absolutely wonderful. And one of the things that we uh, resolved to do while she was here is do a bit of sewing. So, tell them what they're going to do. So, I've never... I've been sewing for a little bit over the past year. I have a sewing machine back home and I'm, I'm not very good um, or very careful or patient, which might be my fatal undoing with this whole thing. <laughs> so I decided that I wanted to do a little quilt and that I'd like to start quilting. This is... Maybe I can go there. So Rita, <laughs> girl Rita and cat Rita, sort yourselves out both of yeah, you. Yeah, <laughs> there you go. This is better. Okay, so like I was saying, I decided that I'd quite like to start quilting, but it's quite hard and Kate is so good at it. So I thought I'd pick a nice, simple quilt that we can come make together. And it will do in a, we'll do it in a day. Yeah. So it's actually a lovely a little geometric pattern. Um, yeah. What sort of size did you say it was? I think it's about 24 square inches. So it could either be a wall hanging or it could be a pillow top or I might... Come on, man. You can chuck her on the floor if you All want right. to, you know. Will this be very poorly received with very, our YouTube friends? Let's very just... poorly received. Yeah, Rita can stay here. Rita, not bottom in camera. <laughs> <laughs> so... Um, it might also be a gift for one of the infinite upcoming babies <laughs> that friends are having. Yeah. It might be just a blanket for babies to roll around in or something because it's very cute. And it's a really interesting piece you've chosen to do. Yeah. So, um, obviously, I am I love all sorts of quilting. I really like this thing that Anna's making. Yeah, this is Anna's work in progress here. Yeah. And uh, she's just terribly busy. She'll get back to this one one of these days and we'll be able to talk about this. Yeah. She hasn't got a cat named after her, though. No. No. Is there a Beatles song named after Anna? Uh, Anna. Uh, is, there is a Beatles song that's oh. Anna. Well, uh, next cat. Sa one of Sadie's kittens is called Anna. There we go. Come. Okay. So, so we're just going to get everything ready. Yeah. Let's have a look at your colours. So um, I picked this um, free pattern from the Wren Collective. We printed it out in black and white just because, but these are actually colors and it becomes like a, kind of like a Davy Bowie, David Bowie-esque. Yeah, like a chevron. Sort of, yeah, like it's kind of 80s Light, and it's like a little lightning, lightning rod. Yeah, so this is a Wren Collective uh, mixed tape, it's called. And I'm gonna make it in these um, nice, Nice solid colours that on. you can't see at all behind the Come on. So this is a free pattern and we'll put a link to the to it in the description below. Yeah, yeah, it's totally free. Of course, um, this woman, I think her name is Rebecca, she makes loads of really, really interesting geometric quilts mm. and quite modern. She uses mm. lots of solids, but she does use patterns as well. Um, so you've got solids. What? Yes, I what, got solids. What are they? Are they? These are Robert Kaufman Kona. Things. Kona solids, yeah. And people love them. It turns out they have like a cult following oh, online. They do. And you can do these quilts that are like, oh, all of the peaches. Yeah. So oh. I have like ice peach, pink peach, berry peach. I don't right. know the names. These are not okay. the real names. And then they do like all of the Kona so, solid peaches. But so this is not it. There's so, a, like a massive Kona solid yeah, following, isn't yeah, there? Yeah, for sure. So I picked these colors for the kind of uh, zigzaggy rainbow in the middle. And the background is just a bone, which is the plain one. And that will be the back of the quilt and the background exactly. of the quilt. Exactly. 
exactly so the colors are shell the first one it's kind of like a very light pink but it's not like sickly because some pinks are no, a bit like pinks of uh, can be yeah. tricky can't it this one's called creamsicle which is it looks a bit peachy to me mm -hmm. yep and then the next one is yarrow which is like a sort of a curry yellow color mm -hmm. um then bonsai like a oh, nice like bonsai green yeah i like, I that, like one. that one a lot yeah, i think that's my favorite so far oh i like this one too yeah my favorite is this one it's called a uh, celestial that's lovely and it's the blue and uh all together they kind of uh it will look like that and is that the order like you're, nice... you're gonna do them in yeah yeah okay. yeah kind of lightest to darkest sort of and uh right it, that will be like a zigzag in the middle so we printed the pattern out this They're morning covered in cat hair I know everything's covered in cat hair, <laughs> but it'll wash and that'll yeah. be okay. Rita's fine, guys. She's just gone over to the food over there and she's eating food. And what you can't see is Norma's sitting right here. She'll she's put in an appearance in soon. Sure. I'm sure she will. We've got a cutting list then, uh, which isn't that page. It's um, is it that, that page? page. And so we're going yeah. to do the cutting list now and get all the pieces. It's small enough to go next to Anna's quilt there, so we don't yeah. have to take Anna's design down off the board. We're going to have that one next to it. So that's what we're going to do now. I'm going to get the, there's the ruler there. We've got the cutting mat here and I'll get the, but okay. maybe what we might do is uh, iron them all first. I think so. Cause they've come in luggage and they've been yeah. like really mm -hmm. tightly folded. Yeah. Let's do that. Do I need to do anything else other than just no, this? Just press that. That's okay. Just really get the creases out. So we're going to be ironing it again. Yeah. When you sew the seams, I'm just going to thread the machine up then. Okay. So there they all are ironed here, but they look lovely. That's better. Yeah, they're great colours, aren't they? Let's just mm -hmm. tip this camera a little bit further around. Very millennial selection here. Are they? What makes you say that? Well, I think it's sort of the dusty pinks so yeah. are very millennial colour. Yeah, and I think this type of contrast, which is kind of like a rainbow, yeah, but, but not, really not, not, okay, is very trendy right now. I work a lot with interior design, and this is this type of color, and these greens are coming up yeah. a lot, basically. So I think it's very Instagram friendly. You're right on trend, aren't you? <laughs> we shall Instagram this as well. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> We're gonna break the internet. We are. We are. So we've got our cutting list now. And um, so colours one to five, which are those? Mm -hmm. So we need to cut. Uh, just let me tell me how long they are. Uh, Take measure in inches. We're going to work in inches. Okay, that's really hard for me. I know you're, uh, you're a centimetres girl, but how, what's yeah. the biggest? Uh, they're about 22, 22 and a half. They're slightly different. Because they want me to cut one and three eighths by 32 inches none of those are 32 inches are they right but in the end we're going to end up with two 16 inch pieces so we might just have to do okay. it in a slightly All right, more so convoluted have to do four way. of those then yeah four by one and three eighths one and three eighths by 16 it, or the whole width of fabric no because otherwise one of them is going to be really bitty hmm. we've reached our first snag yeah so they, they our first cutting instruction is to cut two lots of one and three eighths inches, which yeah. you can find on the ruler, by thirty two inches. Right. So the long piece yeah. will be thirty two. Yeah. So we won't be able to have that. So we can have two sixteens and two sixteens. And so the long piece of ours, like that one, we'll have a join. We'll have a join in the middle. So we need to do two lots of sixteen. Four lots of sixteen. Four lots of sixteen. Yeah. Our first snag. But that'll be okay. That's okay. So on the cutting ruler then. At least it's straightforward. Oh, it's, yeah. 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 So one and three, one and three eighths inches is really narrow. So mm -hmm. on the ruler then, Rita. Yeah. These are inches. We're going to do it all in inches. Yeah, fine. That's, that's fine. All of your rulers are in inches. I guess. They are. Yeah. And my mat's in inches. And it's fine. And this, this is, is in inches. inches. It's fine. So we're going to just... It's just numbers. I mean, they're numbers. If we're you just... ask me to say, stop when you hit yeah, exactly. 10 inches, I can't it do does, that. But it if it I doesn't can... matter. But if, we'll do yeah. it here. So there's an inch then. And these are all eights. And so we want one, one two, two, three, three eights. So they're okay. that wide each. Okay. Okay. We're going to have to be really careful on the quarter inch seams because this is quite precise. Okay. Okay, so get your first piece down then. Okay. Okay. 
So because I don't have all this space at home when I sew mm -hmm. and I don't have a mat or a big table mm -hmm. like this, I mm -hmm. tend to like mark everything mm -hmm. in chalk, mm -hmm. but I've been making clothes. So it's a little different. Yeah, I that's guess. different. I'm yeah. going to put... measure this then because that's, that's 19, 19 and that's more like our 16, isn't yep. it? So I'm going to actually have us cut it from this way. Okay. So when you get a piece of fabric like this from um, a, a, a manufacturer like you have, it looks square and it looks okay, but it's really better if we create our own square. Yeah. So we can trust the selvedge, because we know that's straight. Yeah. Okay, so we know that one is our straight line. So we're going to use all the grids on the... Based on the selvedge. And then what you're going to do is just simply cut the selvedge off and you're going to give yourself half an inch. So when you're using a cutting ruler, these yeah. marks and these marks are really helpful because you can line that quarter inch up. And also yeah. if you get your eye in with this ruler, I like this ruler because the um, the yeah. halves and the quarters are marked really yeah. easily. So all we want to do is cut half an inch off here, which is, well, actually let's make it three quarters, three quarters of an inch off here. So that's there yeah. and there. But also I can make sure I line that up there and then I can also line that up yeah. there okay. so that I know that that's going to work. Now, so when you're cutting with a, a cutting, uh, a, a, on a cutting mat with a rotary cutter, just make all your strength and energy go down that, your arm, so it doesn't yeah. move. Check that when you've done that it hasn't moved and then you're going to cut from the bottom to and the top don't go back and forth no do it in one clean sweep and press harder than you think you can this mat can stand it and go at a right. 45 degree angle to the ruler not at a slope okay okay so just that's it that that engages the blade oh. and this is a good one to practice on just go for it really firmly you can almost hear it more than you can now yeah you can kind of feel it ex oh. now it might be that we need to put a new um a new blade in because it kind of went it did just one little snap yeah i tell you something about old cutting mats though if yeah. you've cut on the same place there right. can be a depression right and it and the blade can miss it so that's a scrap now it's basically and, what we're going to cut them. but now we need our first cut is and we might as well do the whole thing okay, and we'll end and up with some little bits the ends off. yes okay. uh, well it's good to have a little extra so our first one then we're going to cut one and three eighths inches so, so that's your one inch, and that's you work out your three there. eighths. There. And this is actually really quite specific. Okay. Uh, it's tiny, uh, isn't it? Maybe I picked something that looked simple, but because it's tiny will be harder than I expected. Well, maybe. Because we have to be a little delicate. But, but you're here. I so. am. I am. Yeah. So <laughs> we're just going to check that we're on one, two, three eighths there. Yeah. And in, in one, a two, two or three spots. And what I'm going to do, one, in two, fact, three so that yeah. because it's such a precise measurement i'm going to hold the ruler as well oh thank you it's all right so that and press really really hard that's perfect one and three eighths in that color now the pattern wants us to cut two of those but we need to cut four exactly because we don't have 32 in length okay and i think that we maybe have got a divot there it's best to do it with the scissors okay. because you can never get the back to that straight again and it's only right. a thread it's just one it's just there, there. And that's great. So now we have pins here, so we're going to stick these up here. You line up the next one, and we're going to do that four times. Okay. Brilliant. So that's a, a good tip, that is. I'm just going to move you there so that we're a bit more central. Okay, I, would, I will be the yeah. wet top and bottom. That's helpful. Cause it is, easy. because when you're doing a long uh, run like this, uh, it's really easy for it just to move by squidging at the top and yeah that's enough for it to um be out you know we've got to be this is worth doing the accuracy here very much so yeah that's it good great it's so much quicker cutting with this than with scissors well, and scissors just simply aren't uh, accurate. As precise, I think yeah. Modern quilting uh, has become um, the, the the varied thing it is because of quilting rulers, quilting mats. Yeah. Oh dear. Uh, don't worry about it. I think I may have to put a new blade in. In fact, before the next colour, I think I will we'll think about okay. putting a new blade in. Yeah, because I've been doing clothes. Mm. Um, You've had some success at clothes. I've had 
found some, yeah. I've made a really good shirt, but yeah. what I've found really difficult is that you buy patterns and they have different sizing. Yeah. So much like if you go to the high street to buy yeah. a top, yeah. you might be a size 10 in a shop yeah. and a 16 in another. Yeah. So I made the skirt, which I made in a size 16, and mm. it was my size. Yeah. And 16 is sounds vast to me because mm. I never buy that. And so I bought another shirt <laughs> pattern and made a size 16, and it's an absolute tent. tent yeah. So I took it apart and cut it down yeah. to size 12. So sometimes it's worth buying some very, very cheap material and making yeah. a 12 just so that you can um, not waste expensive fabric yeah well i just took this well the that shirt was great apart. going that way but yeah. it could have been the other way around yeah sure sure yeah um and because it wasn't perfect anyway because i'm still learning well it's yeah, just exactly. another go at it well that basically. tunic thing that i made i made yeah. a i made that in an 18 because i wanted to have loads and loads of room in it and is it just far it's too big it's just like it's huge that's what i thought I'd, I'd rather have it baggy but then it's just too baggy yeah. that it looks really but it, it doesn't look like comfortable it looks yeah, I'm silly gonna, i'm gonna change the blade okay well We've done four now, haven't we? Yeah, we've done the four of the blue okay. one. What's this Ooh. called? Let's call it the right thing. Uh, celestial. Celestial. We've done four celestials, but that's no Ooh, good. Oh, the leftover. Yes. Ah, this is all we need. Yeah. Or maybe we could make a funky back. Yeah. Or maybe we could make another one. Yeah, I thought because maybe if it's pillows, I like the idea of it's coming to the same. Yeah. So just before we cut this lovely green one, which is called. Bonsai. Bonsai. I'm just going to quickly change the blade. I don't think it's that bad, but it's never a bad idea to um, to change the blade of your of your rotary cutter. Oh, so this one's longer on this. No, oh, we need a soft edge here. Yeah, that's okay. I'll let you work that one out for yourself, Rita. Yeah. This is classic me at school. Someone gives me really clear instructions. And, ah, it doesn't work. Well, you're not doing it. That's why it doesn't work. Okay, just try so, this blade then. I'll put this one. Um, we're taking away three quarters of an inch. Yeah. I'll just actually just check that this is in right. Yeah. Oh, that's a better. That's a better blade. You're going to get on right? the, well with that one. Does this look right to you? Just. Uh, I'll just. Um, yeah. Put that there. I can mark it later. Okay. So it's not straight, is it? So we'll just line. I never know if I'm supposed to line it. It doesn't matter. Bit or the... it, it, it won't matter so long as it's kind of. That's about right, isn't it? Yeah. By 13 let's talk talk them all out loud okay one that's 13 by 13 two that are seven by seven yeah um one six and a half by 24 and 24 and a half. and a half is that oh i see yes yeah. gonna show them show our youtube friends mm. so we're cutting next thing we're cutting on this pattern is all of the pieces that will th this is the david bowie zigzag and we're going to cut these pieces now and there are loads of them so we're going to make sure that we cut them properly okay so now everything is the background is all cut and ironed and pinned to the board mm -hmm. probably can't see it very well because about the same, same color. color yeah and we so we've done we've cut everything according yeah. to the pattern so that that, that page is done yep yeah. And now we're going to assemble the quilt top. Yeah. But because we cut them, we didn't have the right length. Uh, it required one thirty-two inch piece of this, and we didn't have thirty-two inches, so we did six, two sixteen, four sixteens rather than mm -hmm. one thirty-two and two sixteens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we, ah, so we have to. Um, so the first thing we have to do yeah. is just sew two of every color together. To short make ways one long yeah one. but yeah. before you do that i'm just going yeah. to see that scrap of green there yeah i'm just going to get you to do some practice sewing on okay. the machine and we'll get okay. the 
we'll get the stitch length right and we'll get you used to the sewing machine rather than yep. sewing. Well, you have a practice with that and then we'll talk quarter inch feet. Oh, I see. Okay, mm -hmm. cool. Yeah. Are we in a normal, normal uh, foot? Yes, you're in a normal foot, foot down. And so just before you start, you can check that it's on as fast as it'll go, yeah. which is slow on this machine. Okay, it's on a in my machine, it's really fast oh, I and I usually sew so on... Oh, sorry. <laughs> so on medium. And we're on a medium length stitch, yeah, which I think is about two about and a half. Right, and it's yeah. Flat. Yeah. So just play around with that piece of green while I read this. Okay. Oh, it's not that slow. <laughs> it's slow for me. Right, it's fast for me. <laughs> okay. Maybe with straight lines it's okay, but when I'm doing clothes, this is too fast. Okay. Well, just you play around up and down for a second while I just get this. Okay. Because uh, I want to, is there another assembling thing? Yeah. Yeah. No, no, no. I wish they numbered these pages. They did. There. Three, Three two, two, four. So I need two now. Sorry, they did number the pages. <laughs> Just a minute. Okay, okay, I'm very comfortable with this. Okay, great. So what I want you to do then is sew these together. Two to two, two to two. two do you, to do two, I need two, to two. backstitch? No. Uh, I might actually. That's my backstitch yeah, there. Yeah, I've already tried it there. Okay, good. I would backstitch and maybe go a little slower if you want to. There. All seam allowance is a quarter inch unless otherwise stated. So stop right there. And I'm going to introduce the quarter inch foot to you. Ah, hooray. Okay, so we take that foot off. Yeah. Put it up there. That's just a general foot. Yeah. And this foot, I'll just show the YouTube friends. You know what this is if you're a quilter. But this one here... Whoopsie daisy, can you see? It's got a little guide there. Oh, that's so that useful. It, it really is. It'll make this um, much, much more accurate. Because otherwise you have to kind of eyeball. Yeah, and you, and you can eyes. really yeah. easily get it wrong. So before yeah. you do that, I just want, what I want you to do okay. is sew those two together with a quarter inch seam. Okay. And just get the idea of how you place the fabric. So you can't mess that up because it's a scrap. Yeah, sure. Okay, so that's it, great. Right? So this is number page. Wait, so this is one eighth there. Where am I going to? Put no, it? all you're doing with this, right, yeah. is you're going it's to put it in to the here side of the and there, forget about it and just forget about it's it. That little it, black thing that lines it up. It will do it for you without you having to do it yourself. And it's absolutely gorgeous. That's great. Isn't it? Changed my life, the quarter inch foot. For the better. Okay. Okay, I'm happy with that. So I get it. The other thing I want us to do now yeah. is chain piecing. Yes, okay. Okay, so I'm going that to make. That is not something I do when I make clothes, but I no. know what it is, but I've never done it. Well, here's a little thread bunny. I've just cut a little tiny piece of fabric in a completely different colour, the green. And this is now your friend. Yep, yeah. this and is you your stick thread it bunny. in between. Absolutely. But I've watched your videos and I've seen you kind of just almost put it through and like do something else with his hand. I'm not quite there yet. Somebody once did uh, in a comment did pull me up saying, "Oh, one-handed sewing, eh?" Yeah. <laughs> but you know, I have done it a fair bit. But you sew every day and you've done for thirty years I do. or whatever. I do. It's true. Yeah. yeah. So. Now, these are the short ones that are going to make that short zigzag. Right. So you're going to sew a quarter inch seam, that one to that one. Should I pin them? No. Okay. You really don't need to pin them. They're quite straight. They are. Yeah. Well, you. that's why a good cutting. So yeah. you're going to place them together and you're just going to go slow enough so that you can make sure yeah. that they're not coming apart. Okay. And then as soon as this is off the machine, I'm going to cut those off and press them open. And I don't need to backstitch here because we're going to probably trim these afterwards. Okay, that's what fine. No, I, it's fine. I Would wouldn't. you have done No, 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 okay. no. No, I wouldn't have backstitched those. <laughs> <Shh>. <laughs> <laughs> it's a secret. No one can know. No one can know. Okay. It's actually better if you don't pin these. Okay. You can just eyeball it. Just pause a second. Yeah. I'm just going to cut that off. So you can carry on. And I'm going to give it. you this thread bunny here. So I can put it at the and end? It, if you need to, it's there. Huh, but this is... Oh, doesn't... it's because they, they're exactly. not Exactly, like... they're all slightly different. Okay, we're still going to so, attempt to size. We are indeed. So I'm going to iron now. 
I've just had an idea. We don't have to do anything in order, I guess, is what you mean. Yes, but you need to respect order. Yeah. And so in order to know what the order is, I'm going to make you a little template from the self edges. Okay. Okay, so blue is there. Green is there. Uh, mustard is there, whatever colour that's called. Yarrow. yarrow. Celestial bonsai, yarrow. Um, creamsicle. Creamsicle. And shell? Shell. Yeah. So that's the order that they go in. I like these names. I do. Good dog names. <laughs> you can get a litter of like Sharpay dogs and call cool. them. Creamsicle. <laughs> and shell. Yeah. Sharpay yarrow. dog. I really bonsai. It's a good name for a dog. I bonsai. Think, Come yeah. on, bonsai. Bad boy, bonsai. <laughs> so I've got the short yeah. ones and the long ones. And so, so you bring can... the short ones first. Yes, of course. Then, but uh... the long ones are there in case you want to just uh, crack on and hit the open road. Okay. Route 66, a straight yeah. line. Straight line, Route 66, yeah. I quite like to drive that. I wonder if you can like really speed if there's no one else around. Um, and if you'd want to, because there's plenty to see, surely. I just think that it would be quite nice just to stick it in cruise control and sit back yeah. and enjoy the drive. Yeah. I've done a bit of driving in America when I was in my twenties. I went to Wisconsin for a month. Hello, Norma. Close up of your bum. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yep. We, the, yep. wouldn't, it wouldn't <laughs> be a last only house video without Norma's bottom in it. <laughs> And without realising it, Rita is actually doing what I should have told you to do, which is when you're sewing strips together, don't sew them all in the same way. Oh, I forgot. No, you are doing it. Right. I didn't notice. By, by mistake. It's just my natural skill. Yeah, exactly. Uh, so, so one top to bottom and the other bottom to top, so that qu quilters who are watching this will know that what can happen if you sew them all in the same direction. You can get the whole thing bowing out of shape. So if you alternate sides, it will straighten up. Yeah, I know we talked about it, but I forgot. But no, I'm but glad you are I doing it. it you are doing it without realizing. It. Anna's quilt here so we're all just the three of us are just going to be cracking on you're going to do some cutting out yeah yep so Anna's making this quilt do you want to talk a little bit about <coughs> this quilt um yes uh, so this is a quilt for my friend Jackie who's my oldest friend oh yeah my oldest friend from school and she's just had a little baby boy called Arlo and when she told me I was very excited and I was like I'm gonna make you a quilt and so now we're making the quilt and we're and We've done some really careful, accurate measuring here to make this zigzag quilt. And we've done some intuitive blocking together here to make this more random quilt. But it still needs careful measuring, mm -hmm. which is what Anna's doing now. Because we've, we've made... This is the third cat, in case anyone's playing cat bingo. We've got it now. <laughs> we've got oh, prudence. we're missing Sadie, actually. Sadie's around and about. We've got prudence now, but we don't want you to walk all over the fabric, prudence. So I'm afraid I'm going to put you on the ironing board with Norma. <laughs> there you go. Um, so Anna's going to. This is the other side of the quilt because it's going to be like a reversible. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. So uh, these are too long. Is that what it is? And you're going to cut them to size? Yeah. Well, I just because I've done this one the other day. Yeah. Oh right. 
and then so it all up, and then I, I got, I get a thing, I get really, what do we call it? We call it a quilting Number hangover. One. Yeah, like, so after a while quilting, I get a quilting hangover, I'm like, I can't do it anymore. <laughs> so Kate just said, to fold them just up. Just leave it. Pin just it, just leave it. Left just it. come back when your hangover's gone. <laughs> yeah. What's the cure for a quilting hangover? Um, well, I often think it's cookies because they just make me feel worse. <laughs> it's, it's a break. Yeah. It's just It's leaving. a break from quilting. Yeah. I did it, right. No, you did. So and that's it. what it looks like now. It's really cool. We're going to stick it up here. Yeah. And is there another one exactly the same? Yeah. Right. And we have really cool scraps that I think I'm going to make some sort of thing for Agnes with. Yeah. Or maybe I can make like a little coin bag. Yeah, no problem. Do you know, guys, I, I'm going to wash up. Yeah. We don't need you in your own channel. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, so that goes there, that goes there, and then the other chevron goes, we'll fingers there. crossed there, and it yeah. is now working. Excellent, yeah. great, so pleased. Folding it in half is a revelation, so it's simple, a... but I would have spent so long being like, God, stressed. <laughs> and and can we pin this up so that our, so that our YouTube friends can see it? Yeah, do that, because now we're going to work out how to do all the white bits. Okay. And that we're now, sure. have we progressed from page three? No, we're now in the middle no, of page three. No, we're on three. page three now. Yeah. <laughs> so we're going to need the... Okay, Anna, what number is that? Um, it is number five. Five. And, okay, so do you know... I'm going to make life easy for us and call it... Is this number five? Yeah. Are you going to write all the numbers down? Uh, yeah. That's a good idea. It is. And so that's three, uh -huh. and that's four, and you'll see the numbers are in pen. Yeah. And that's two. The good thing is they can't actually, one. the YouTube friends can't see what I'm doing, so it looks like I'm doing really complicated things, but actually... I might change the angle of the camera. <laughs> no, no, don't. <laughs> Keep up the illusion. <laughs> okay, this what? is roughly what mine will Seven. look like. Eight. Oh, it's behind Anna's head. Nine. Oh, oh, cool! Yes, yeah. that's cool. That looks great. Right, yeah. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna turn the camera no, no, no. slightly <laughs> so that it's more we central. We don't need so much of the ceiling as well. You can, you so can, we can angle it down, down a bit, can't we? Oh no. Okay, I think that's good. That's great. Oh, you can't see me. That's good. That's good. Okay. <laughs> okay. Now we're following the next set of instructions. Now we're now. moving on to assembling the blocks. So place a seven-inch background triangle. RST, right sides together. Is that correct? Yes, it is. Okay. With what? Uh, a long diagonal edge of a six and a half strip set. So both ones. Which edge? Uh, are, are they going to go on both edges in the end? Um, yeah, but on different sides, surely. Hmm. Yeah, that's correct. Okay, <laughs> ensuring there is at least a quarter inch overlap on either side. Pin. Pin. I will allow you to pin those. Hurrah! <laughs> and I'm going to suggest that we do two at a time, because both diagonal yeah. edges are going to have quarter inch, uh, these strips on, aren't they? So is that kind of correct with a quarter yeah, inch? That's yeah, that's a good quarter inch there, and that's a quarter inch there. And you've got your quarter inch foot on, so that will make this part easy. I don't think I'm sewing yet. I think I'm just assembling them for a minute. I'm going to be sewing soon. So with pins, pins, put it like that. Okay. At right angles so that you can take them out really easily when you're sewing. Because it almost like it presents itself to you. I'm doing good, I'm doing good. <laughs> Taking an awful lot of concentration. <laughs> All the sets are going to be in my face like... Mm. <laughs> okay. good. What I'm never very that? good at smiling on, on camera. I'm like, on all the videos of people. Oh, I know you do look like you're about to burst into tears. Okay. <laughs> like what Kate's just said to her. So we did say pin in place and then sew yeah. 
pin in place and sew a seam pressing towards background triangle. Exactly. Okay. So if you sew those two onto there, yeah. and I'll just double check because I'm sure you have then to sew the other repeat. ones on as well. Yeah, yeah. Okay, Where's good. my little, little bunny? Um, there. there he is. There he is. You, isn't that funny? You do get quite fond of your thread bunny. Yeah. You, you, like you, 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 yeah, you get to really, really kind of... Where's my thread bunny? <laughs> Let's see. Excellent. So all yours are ready to sew together. Mm -hmm. And they're coming down for what reason? Because you need the board. Oh. You can get them out of your way. I'm not really in the way. Because is this you winding down? Yes. Okay, go. But go. I thought you said that you guys needed the scissor board. No, we're using that little size. size. Mine is tiny. Oh. So they would they wouldn't have mattered if oh. they stayed up. Yeah, well, well I'll put them back up at the end. I'm gonna put them back up. Yeah. For sure. Yeah, I want them yeah up. because mine is tiny. We're only using In fact, if you put them up now, so cool. they're behind my head. Don't forget what order they go in. Mm. I took a picture. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Did you not wonder what I was doing? Yeah. Does mine go there? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I did a bit. <laughs> but not out loud. I'm getting quite tired. You get your time to me, Andrew. Right. So I think we'll get the quilt top of mine done today, but not the back, right? Oh no, that's really easy. The back part will be a piece right. of cake. Okay, so I have an issue here in that that is kind of going way off there, and this is just totally unreasonable on this side. Okay, so oh, it is, isn't it? Mm. So we need to respect the forty-five is the only measurement we need to do. So the most of the so that I bit think is that the bit has that to goes come off, off right? and then we just have a slightly smaller chevron. That's fine. And I think that's going to be fine. Yeah. Yeah, put them back up. <laughs> but wasn't this the whole point of me putting them no, together? No, no, the whole point was to progress your quilt. Right. Because this is where you're managing in that corner. Right. So you know, the idea was not to get it off the board, was to just get you further on. Oh, well, thank you. No, it's, it's in, in fact, if you wanted me to sew some of this together, but do you want to carry on doing it? Mm hmm. Right, we're going to leave it then. Is that all right? Yeah, of course it is. I'll be quicker. No, no. That's not what I'm saying at all. It's good that you've got there that far. Yeah. What's happening here? This smell here. Okay. But it always needs mm -hmm. to smell yeah. out of it. Yeah. Here as well again. So okay. do you think that that is reasonable? Yes, I do. I really do. As long as our 45 is correct, I think that's fine. It kind of veers off a tiny that's bit. That's okay. There, but... That's all right. I think it's just accepted. Expected. Yep. Also, this is my first ever, so yeah, it's all good. Okay, good. So Shall we pin it so it'll be it. pretty? So we we'll take that off because I don't know where yeah. that goes. It will go to fill in this. Yeah. The bottom. So pin that together. So we want. We'll put those back in your drawer, Anna. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And she has another kid, and she has a little girl. I could make a little tiny doll out of something. You time. can. That'd be sweet, wouldn't it? Yeah. yeah. It could just be Jackie's fabric now. <laughs> Jackie's fabric. She does love polka dots. She does. Well, who doesn't? I have a good friend who loves polka dots as well. Yeah? But I think she had this situation where she kind of became like, oh, Karen loves polka dots. And oh, then like yeah. everyone gives yeah. her stuff yeah. with polka dots. <laughs> Jackie has that with giraffes. So she right. mentioned yeah. that she like giraffes and now everyone just gets a giraffe. Thing. Brilliant. So that's ready to go next time. Yeah? Yeah. Well done, Anna. Thanks. Look at this. And then oh, you get to see the culmination. Yeah, that's oh, fine. Phew. Oh, yeah, for a no. second I was like, oh no. It's good, isn't it? Very cool. And so this bit then. Look at that. <laughs> so this bit I'm yeah, guessing goes really cool. here. Yeah. Should we pin it? Yeah. And this bit, I'm guessing, goes here. Yeah. And then that's, and that's it. Quilt. Is that how big it is? Yeah. yeah it's wow. tiny. It's like a big cushion. It or would be a big. But you think I might make a big, big, big pillow? Yeah, that looks great. And then I think quilting that in a grid with my, it'll be easy to yeah. do because it's small enough. Cool. Brilliant. Well, shall we say goodbye, to Anna? Yes. Thanks for coming, Anna, and thanks for getting so far on with your quilt. Next time you come, you can stitch that together. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So. If you come and sew that together, then we can do mm -hmm. your quilt sandwich. And you, you're going to hand quilt yours, I think. Yes. We fine. might talk about tying. 
but I won't mention that to you now. Okay. We'll talk about tying another time. Cool. It's a lovely way to finish a quilt. Yeah. And then um, Rita's going to put the walking foot on here and do a grid effect yeah. on here. But we're mm -hmm. going to sew those last few things together and then pin out the quilt sandwich. Yeah. Yeah. Great no reason why you shouldn't crack on and finish this today. Yeah, I'm going to do that. She now. says this to me every time we do a sandwich and then like three months later. I'm like, well, <laughs> but I've been here the whole day and I yeah. will remain here the rest of but the day, uh, whereas you have work to do. Rita has to go back to Canada. Yes, yeah. it's true. There is you, a you just train. knit back six miles up the road, don't yeah. you? Have a great time <laughs> this true. afternoon. Thank you. Thanks for coming. Nice to see you. I'll see, well, you. see you later. See you. Okay. Great. Yeah. Right. Have Thank a you. have a good time. I'll Thanks. see you. Bye. When? See. Soon. Yeah, I don't know. Don't know either. Doesn't matter. Yeah. See you later. Whatever. Bye, yeah. darling. So, what do you think I saw first? These ones? Well, let's read the instructions. Okay. This bit is very, very precise because the the visual of this one will be if these are off, your eye will see it straight away. So the way that we're going to pin this, if we lift it up like that, and you can just see that what's that one called again? Yarrow. If yarrow and bonsai bonsai are lined up, then we're going to put a pin in there and you're going to sew this really carefully. Okay. So that now yarrow and celestial, can you, yeah. you see that you're watching that you're putting yeah. those together well? And, and it should be like a perfectly straight line. I see it. Yeah. Okay. And that's, I should do that one too, I think. And the pins there will help you. And so I should kind of sew as close to the pin as possible and then remove it. Cool. it? Yeah, yeah. There's still okay. your quarter inch seam. Yeah, just, no, let's I know, just check like... on the back that they line up beautifully. That's perfect. And then this top one up here, just yeah. maybe okay. one pin in there or... Just hold that carefully. Perfect. Yes. Now, wasn't it worth taking that extra time? It was. Now that you've put into it. That looks brilliant. It really does, doesn't it? Yes. What to do is to pin and sew background rectangle to bottom of the two. This there. one. Yes, yeah, this... exactly. It's that one. So there we go. There you go getting easier with each one. It's going to be now because yeah. you're getting rid of the, um, the shapes. You know? the so the quilt top is beautifully done. Mm -hmm. And we're going to do the quilt sandwich now, which you've never done. I've never done. Okay. So we've got a piece of backing fabric. And what's lovely is that it's no right or wrong, so it doesn't matter which side yeah. of it is. And it's just one big piece. There's no seam in the middle no. or anything like that. And we've cut it about an inch bigger all the way around. Mm -hmm. And then what's lovely about something this small is I've just found a scrap of um, uh, quilt wadding, which yeah. let's see where the square is. So there's, there'll be the made end, which is there. Yeah. So we're going to put that there. At the doesn't matter, one just as long edges, as it, yeah. we, we'll use that for one of the edges. Yeah. <laughs> Bits of green yeah, thread yeah. everywhere. Good. And because this is an inch bigger all the way around, we're just going to yeah. line this up. So if you get your your bit and just, yeah. that's it. The quilt is smooshed there. From the inside up. Yeah. Middle that's up. That's it. And now we're going to put this on but we're going to check all the way around because we've made it bigger all the way around. Just check that it's not going over anywhere. going over the edge anywhere and it's not on this, these two sides. No, okay. Not here. Now, these quilting pins then, okay. and these are pin, safety pins that yeah. are the summer straight, so don't Slightly use those. Bent. And they've got a little bend in them. Mm -hmm. Now the bend, it's, ter it's terribly subtle, but the reason for it is, if you were to put a pin in there, it would cinch it up ever so slightly. Right. I'm exaggerating there, sure. but what we need is for it to lie flat. So we're gonna put a, a pin and you dig right down so that you can feel the cutting mat, yeah. pin it like so, 
with a little bump underneath. And the bump yeah. keeps everything flat. Okay. And then the kind of rule of thumb is just put them a hand's width apart. So okay. the next one would go here. And from the middle out again. Yeah, from the middle out so you can carry on smooshing. And just put them so the next one would go a hand's width apart here so that you've got them. You can measure if you like it. What is it? Three or four inches? And make sure you dig down to the table. That's why you don't do this on your best dining table. You know, you, you can stretch the table. Yes, you do this on your cutting mat or somewhere and then okay, just do so one more on the edge, all there and, and just keep right. radiating out from the middle like okay. a you will remove these when you're sewing sure so there's another way of basting which is what we're doing pin basting which is spray basting right so uh, you and it would stick and together yes and you wouldn't have to remove anything when you were quilting right these you're going to have to take them out as you get That's towards fine. them it is because this the is the method is terrible i've got for the environment anyway. it is and then there's another way of doing it you can just tack it you know, you can just do big tacking stitches. Yeah. I don't know. Quilting your desired way, it says on the instructions. Yeah. And we can look never, at the picture, I guess. Yeah. If you've never quilted before, then what is yeah. your desired way? Yours. Mine. <laughs> yeah. And mine would be hand quilting. But I do really think this one will lend itself very well to being machine quilted. And it's small enough to go under the throat of the machine without yeah. causing a problem. Yeah. And... Uh, we're only doing squares. We're not doing. I think any you're just going to do a grid. Yeah, shapes, absolutely. Yeah. Just a little grid, a grid effect, in white. Yeah. Yeah. Great. So if I'm starting from the middle, I should. Can I roll this? Yes, sure. Here? Absolutely. To get it into the throat of the machine. Yeah. Just fold that like that might go in now or a bit more. Okay, okay then. So if you set the guide so that it's in line with where you want it to be yes. and just start off the piece and sew yeah. really nice straight lines. Okay. But f for using the guide, look at the guide, not the needle. Okay. And what happens when I get to the end? We said that I should pivot. Yeah. So that's why the needle's in the down position so yeah. that you can turn it round. So I turn well, it round, sew an inch and then back down. So two inches in this two case inches, and then yes, use yes. this line of stitching as your guide as for going back. For the next one. So I'll do this whole side and then yeah, I'll come exactly. back and do this whole side. Okay. See what that looks like. Oh, hey, Leah. Oh, hello. What are you doing? I'm just finishing up in here. Oh, wow, look at that. It's changed a lot look since at you that saw stripe. it earlier. Yeah, it's good, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah I've well. been calling it a David Bowie star, but it's more stripe. It's more of a Ziggy Stardust. Yeah, stripe. yeah, yeah. Does it? What does it represent? Nothing. I found okay. this I found this on the internet. Oh, right. Yeah, that's so what, what it is. What's the next step? Uh, well, I'm going to finish these last few stripes, and then you've got to put the edge around it. Yeah. Cut this bit off there and then i'll be done what are you going to then do with it it's not very big uh, enough to sleep under is it not quite um it's either going to be like a really big pillow to kind of have on the floor when oh, you have yeah, friends yeah, over yeah, yeah. or something like that yeah. i have enough to make another one identical to oh, it so you could like put it on like a big settee yeah something like that or yeah. i could hang it on the wall like a wall hanging cool kind oh, of yeah, like yeah, that yeah, one yeah, you yeah. behind you yeah, or something yeah, like right. that what do you think mother Oh, hi, John. Hello there. Uh, what do I think? I think it's amazing. First attempt at quilting. It's absolutely brilliant. Yeah. And uh, she's worked really, really hard. And it's been a long day. She's done great. I have two more lines two to more do lines before to do. I can rest today. And then, so what do I think? Uh, it would make a lying on the floor, rolling. It, it wouldn't actually. There's no real upcoming babies as well. No, but also it's white. It is white. And that wouldn't work too well. Hi, how are yeah. you doing? I'm all right. Have you had a good day? A yeah. long day. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Well, quite a fun day. Yeah. Okay. What have you been doing? Fitting elm worktops, which was extremely straightforward. Oh, okay. Out on, out and about? Or? Out and about on site, yeah. Okay. And then... Um, had a guy came to check the airline quality 
Okay. So that was great fun. Bit of I think that safety. happened last time we were here. Oh, there's a lot of checking that must be done yeah. by people who charge. Like it's basically oh, yeah. a license to print money. Yeah. If you want to make a lot of money, you should start uh, a checking company. Checking people's airline quality. <laughs> cool. That's a tip for you guys. Yeah. If anyone's looking for a career change, yeah. a life of excitement and glamour, yeah. you can uh, be an airline. <laughs> Mobile uh, airline yeah. checking. Yeah, or the thickness of compressor walls. Also good. Yeah. Also full of glamour. Yeah. But Nothing. It, it is full of money, though. Yeah. All good. That's what you're after. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Right. Great. I'm going back All to right. what I was doing. I'm going to crack on with and this. You, and so... <laughs> So here it is, um, I'm about three quarters of the way done with machine quilting it. Uh, it's the first time I've machine quilted anything. Prudence is terribly interested in what I'm saying here. Yeah, she is, isn't she? Yeah. Um, so I've done these little grids here and it looks really nice. They're not super even, uh, but I First honestly, go, I think they look pretty yeah. good to me. If I were to do anything different, which is what we're talking about, I would make the stitches on here longer, uh -huh. which we forgot to change, basically. Well, That's we had it on the ordinary sewing yeah. stitch, didn't we? You think yeah. it, that they would have looked better if the stitches were a bit bigger? I think so, yeah. Yeah, you're going to get that cat off that quilt? Yeah. Bad well, cat. she's not she's... gone. Yeah, oh. she... Okay, so you're going to crack on, because yeah. actually so I have it's... One, two, three, I have one, two, three, four, five lines to do more. And okay. then we're going to call it a night because we kind of lost the light. Um, and we're going to do the binding tomorrow And the will morning. to live. So yeah. we're going to do the binding tomorrow. Yeah, lost the light and the will to live. Okay. Yes, but sure. no, you're cracking on. I'm, I haven't been anywhere near this since you've been doing this. You've been yeah. doing really, really well. And so that, we, sh that chevron this, look is yeah. perfect, isn't it? It's exactly yeah, what it you thought really it would look great. like. Yeah. Great. Well, so you, the you... issues that we've encountered have been only one broken needle. Uh-huh. <laughs> it wasn't even broken it, it was bent. bent yeah um and then here i'm gonna get a little divot i can see it well we can we, we can probably deal with the divot yeah but now i can see it i can kind of ease it out with your finger it, yeah. a bit yeah mm. yeah and uh that's basically it well i think you've done amazingly well because Thank you've you. cracked on with Thanks that really much. well all day so um couldn't we'll... have been done without your support so well, we'll have a look at it when it's finished being quilted and before binding and then we'll bind it uh, on another yeah. occasion great well done crack on rita <laughs> yeah good can you read through those i cool. should just put that thing good lass one two three what we, we want to make is a long a long 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 strip a, a binding strip so they're just going to be right sides together well, there's no side walking. here, really. Uh, there is no right side on this, is there? Okay. And there, that's yes. where I'm stitching. Yeah. You can do this a quarter inch. But the, the, the thing to, to remember, though, is it's quite easy to do that on the wrong side. Right. So the first so, one doesn't matter, but the next one I but should the, pin. The it. next one does. So we'll pin it now. Okay. So that you can see that you are actually getting that, not twisting it. Yeah. That that one actually does go there. So we'll put a stick a wee pin in there. Okay. And you don't need to pin the first one. You just hold it, and now just you can do a little backwards and forwards there and there if you like, and just do me a quarter inch, and I'll get the iron ready. Right. So now you've gone all the way around the outside. And I've trimmed the edges. And we've trimmed the edges beautifully. Mm -hmm. No problem there at all. Mm, um, not. Uh, not even a little bit, going to just bring it over like that. Yeah. And this is where binding clips are quite useful. Is that something that we own? It is. Oh, I see. Mm, you see? So we pop that on there like that. And we stick a wee binding clip on. Okay. Because we've got a few couple of places where there's a join. Yeah. Now, what we're going to do is just fold that over. Mm hmm. Put a binding clip, clip right on, there and then just but now i'm gonna okay. so you can clip all of that but i'm going to show you what we're going to do okay. when we do a corner show me a corner and then i'll do, then all, the rest. do all the rest of them okay so the corners a little fold mitered like that so yeah. we're going to turn it over mm -hmm. and turn that bit over and then miter this bit in exactly the same way yeah so that You've got a lovely mitered edge like so, yeah. 
and then I pin um, it right on top of clip it. Clip it like clip that. It. And then when you come to sew this, make sure that your needle goes right into all those. Into all of that there. I get it. You do. Thank but when you. you come to. I'm going to, when I finish clipping, I'll call you because, yeah. Okay. And you can put the clips quite close over. together. Yeah. So when you come to this, just be careful not to pull it apart. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, clip away. along when you get to the corner right near this edge here yeah you're just going to stitch it so that it catches it down okay. you're not worrying about the back. the back the back you're going to see a line of stitching just shy of that fold okay. there just going to have to be how it is and when you get to the corner just put your needle in the down position and then turn it around yeah, so and right. we're nearly finished i'm excited <laughs> i kind of want to be done now yeah yeah and it gets that point doesn't it mm. 